Okay, let's start <clears throat> with the first couple of uh, verses of 21, and then we'll take a look at some more text. Um, then I saw the new heaven and the new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth passed away, and the sea was no more. Okay, so <clears throat> when we left off with the uh, Great Tribulation time frame and the bold judgments, one of the last things we saw was a massive earthquake, and the mountains were coming down low, and the earth was being flattened out. Um, very likely during that judgment, this verse as well will come true, and, this, and the sea will pass away, because if we remember from the judgments, it was turned blood red, and everything in it had died. And so in the remake of the new heaven and new earth, um, it, it uh, probably... Those, those last judgments were reconfiguring the surface of the earth, and then we move into this new idyllic setting that, that God is going to create. <clears throat> okay, let's skip down, take a quick snapshot at Romans. We've got another <clears throat> reference here. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subject to futility, not willing, but because of him who subject subjected it in hope that the creation itself would be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. <clears throat> so this is uh, interesting because it talks about, it's basically making reference back that the fall of Adam wasn't just a fall of man, it was the fall of all creation. And, and you definitely can get that in the Old Testament as well. And so here we're seeing that even creation waits for the uh, revealing of the sons of God, which um, is a terminology that, that is applied to the church. And so uh, another snapshot here that the creation itself is set free from its bondage and corruption. So we're moving into a time with the new heavens and new earth that a lot of people compare to the Garden of Eden. And so just like... Um, <clears throat> We saw the the uh, Babylon in um, Revelation 17 and 18 and talked about <clears throat> that that was basically a coming full circle of the original Babylon right after the flood. And so that's, you know, sort of the, and the evil uh, coming back around. This we see is, is uh, creation coming back around. And we started in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve in a perfect idyllic setting. It looks like that idyllic setting is going to return for the millennium. Now let's look at the parallel passage in Isaiah 65. <clears throat> for behold, I create new heavens and new earth, and the former things should not be remembered or come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem to be a joy and her people to be gladness, and I will rejoice in Jerusalem um, and be glad in my people. No more shall it be heard in the sound of weeping and the cry of distress. No more shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man that does not fill out his days. For a young man shall die at a hundred years old, and the, and the sinner a um, hundred years old shall be accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat fruit. They shall not build on an, in another inhabit, and they shall not plant in another eat. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. And uh, for like the days of a tree shall be the days of my people. My chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain or bear children for calamity. For they shall be the offspring of the blessed of the Lord and the descendants of them. Before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. <clears throat> the wolf will lay down uh, with the lamb shall graze together, and the lion shall eat straw like an ox, and dust shall be the serpent's food. Uh, they shall not hurt or destroy my holy mountain, says the Lord. Okay, so let's just take a look quickly at a couple of the characteristics of the new heaven and new earth from this passage of Isaiah. <clears throat> One is... Uh, the things of the past won't come to mind, and so uh, 
don't know if that's because the setting is so ideal that people don't look back or if it's something supernatural to allow people to forget, for instance, the uh, great tribula tribulation that they had gone to, gone through. Okay. <clears throat> and it's, again, ideal setting, so there won't be a lot of weeping and cries of distress. And then we see here the uh, uh, length of... Uh, people's lives gets extended. No more shall there be an infant who lives but a few days. Okay, so childbirth um, produces healthy kids or an old man who does not fill out his days. For the young man shall die 100 years old and a sinner 100 years old shall be accursed. So it looks like <clears throat> um, the type of death is really in very old age or potentially related to s sinners. And again, we know in the millennium, um, there there will be still, you know, human fallen uh, people in the millennium. And so you still have this sinner and the sinners look like they're going to be judged at, at the age of 100. Hmm. Um, let's come down a little bit here. Again, we see another reference here to the to ages being extended. For like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be. Um, enjoy the work of their hands. So um, I think that's, oh, and they shall not uh, labor in vain or bear children for calamity. And so, again, I think we're seeing is this <clears throat> reset to where how God intended. And even childbirth is going to be... Uh, affected where kids will be born, they'll be healthy, and uh, and they'll be blessed. And then <clears throat> down here we see something, and I'm not sure if this is exactly uh, a fair interpretation, but the wolf and the lamb shall graze together, the lion shall eat straw like the ox. Now, if you look, go back and look um, in the Garden of Eden and uh, uh, just just after you don't have um, uh, meat being eaten it, it looks like it's a vegetarian diet and this may be some indication here that we're moving back to that with uh, the wolf that would be normally a predator and the lamb is a grazer but they would graze the lion will eat straw and uh, so the whole the whole reset is, looks like it's coming around to be the same idyllic setting that you had in the Garden of Eden.